know out here taking pockets and making bras. Hi everyone, welcome back to Wheel of Upcycles. I call it that because we have a spinning wheel where it's going to choose which upcycle you see next. I picked some of my favorite upcycles from my own Facebook group. I have a Facebook group called Blueprint DIY Renegade Upcycles and I absolutely love my group because people are so positive they are so helpful to one another they share resources locally and send each other resources through the mail it's just a great place to be especially right now with everything that's going on in the world and i'm just so blessed and so grateful to be able to experience something like this so i wanted to give back and show some love to a lot of the people on the group that just post just some amazing things so i hope you guys are super ready this is actually part two last time i did 12 up cycles and this time i'm doing 12 more so the countdown started from 24 and now we're on number 12 so let's do it all right so number 12 is mercedes she has been a subscriber for a long time and she was one of the first members on my facebook group she also has a youtube channel i'll put the link in here as well but i absolutely love to see her posting um this particular one because you guys know how much i love reworked uh streetwear sportswear i love reworked sportswear so i absolutely love this but she also makes the cutest up cycles for her little daughter um when i first when she first became a subscriber i think she was pregnant with her daughter so oh this time is flying and i just love seeing her up cycles that she makes for her daughter as well as herself all right so number 11 is Venetia, I absolutely love this dress. She made it from a bed sheet. I just think it's just so simple and pretty and frilly and feminine. So yes, especially for the summertime, I really, really like this. You did an amazing job. And if this is you guys' favorite, definitely let her know in the comments below. Hey, if you are interested in getting an upcycle made by me, then hit that subscribe button. And if you've just been watching, yeah, I know you've been watching. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Been watching for a while, haven't hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button, even if it's your first time. Hit that subscribe button and share this video so everyone knows all the amazing stuff going on here because every 100,000 uh, goal that I get to all the way up to a million, I'm giving away an upcycle to a subscriber. We have our first one coming up. So I hope you guys are excited and back to the video. All right, so number 10 is, oh, Helen, freaking Helen, Helen. Okay, so you guys are gonna see why I say it like that. So in the group, there are a few people that just throw on, like Nadia, they throw on, you know, their up cycles and everybody's just like, really? really she is one of those i had a really hard time picking my favorite she said at the beginning of joining the group that she's really pushing herself to sew things that she's never sewn before and it definitely definitely shows so i'm sharing this coat that she took and made a bralette and a, a beret with and and short pants with and just threw it on and just looked amazing and this is amazing she said it was a little bit more revealing that she would wear you know out but i just love like her construction is just so good in every single up cycle you guys will have to go over to the facebook group to see the rest of her stuff if you guys are interested the link to my facebook group is in the description box below if you want to see more from any of the people that i am talking about just put in their name in the search where it says blueprint diy renegade upcycles and you can search their name you'll see all of the posts that they themselves have posted just search her name and you'll see all of this amazing upcycle greatness she knows it we tell her all the time but yes this is one of my favorites of hers they're all my favorites but yes she does an amazing amazing job upcycling all right, so number nine, we're getting down. We're below 10, so number nine is May. 
I absolutely love the color and the fabric of this two-piece set and it and it suits her body so so well I absolutely love this and she said that she got the fabric from her grandma now she said that the word the translation the word for fabric in Danish is drugs so when she says it it sounds like her grandma gave her drugs <laughs> And I thought that was hilarious. But for a lot of sewists, fabric might as well be a drug. We're addicted to this. So yeah, it makes sense. All right, number eight is Sana. She's another one that I just admire. She says she's a perfectionist and it shows like the construction of her upcycle. She actually did a full couch cover like she recovered i won't say a couch cover because that sounds it's not on her level she recovered a chair with denim and it says queen at the bottom yes she, queen of construction yes she is and i always know specifically when i see her up cycles i know it's her because the construction is really really well done she did this denim top she always says that her uh up cycles are very slow fashion and it's okay because once she gets done it's going to be pretty much a piece of perfection so kudos to you sana you know how much i love your up cycles so keep up cycling even though it's going pretty slow. All right, we are to number seven. Let's see who it is. Erica, yes. She loves, in the group, she is the one that is going to make every kind of swimsuit, underwear, anything like that, you know that is her and she does it very well. She made a swimsuit out of a t-shirt, I believe, and she made this bralette. Who you know out here taking pockets and making bras? This girl is. That's what she's doing and she's doing it very well. She, the fit, she did it so well to fit her so well. That's what I always admire is like when you look at something and it fits that person's body really, really well. Great job. You did an amazing job. You always do an amazing job. She she'll take some um, like biker shorts or boxers and make it into a bralette. So yes, she does all of that amazing stuff. And she has a YouTube channel, so I'm gonna put that in the description box as well, so you guys go check her out. All right. So number six is Michelle Grogan. Yes, she always always shows her full process she'll show when she first starts a project and her pushing herself through the project and then the final results so this post was her final results of her pushing herself through this process of patchworking all of these men's shirts together with the bucket hat the pants the top yes everything everything she did it and i just admire her so much because yeah she shows her projects and she pushes her way through she's doing an amazing job and they are every not just these that i'm highlighting but every single member of the group it's not everybody posts all the time but they do add their encouragement their help when it's needed sometimes people need inspiration for projects people are posting just they may not post their projects but they post inspiration for other people for projects it it's all amazing to bring a richness to the group that i just absolutely love all right so we're down to number five there's only four more names on the list because the last one is a surprise but let's see who's next nina i absolutely love this one and she says in the comments i'm gonna post my first upcycle like this does not look like your first upcycle i have to remember that some people have been sewing like regular sewing for a long time before they start upcycling but i don't know where she is on her journey but this came out so good she even had a drawing to sketch out her idea before she did it and oh i didn't mention that erica does that as well in the group she'll do a sketch to reality um almost like a series within the group and yes she did this she sketched it out and she just oh uh, i love this i love asymmetry and so she had this whole vision for asymmetry and it was going to be a split up the side and she completed it and she says she's absolutely loved with it which she absolutely should be this is 
great work, especially for your first upcycle. And hey, if you wanna take your upcycle into the next level, definitely consider being a member of my members only group. Click that join button down below to learn more. I have for my highest level, we have monthly upcycle classes. And then for my VIP level, we have a special email where you can email me directly so I can troubleshoot and help you with your upcycles directly. So if you're interested in that and the other perks as well, cause there's a bunch of other perks as well as like early videos, yes. And knowing what upcycles I'm gonna do before I do them, yes. So if you're interested in that, click that join button down below. All right, so number four is Kaylee Colburn. I absolutely love her because, okay, so yes, <laughs> we did a little black girl magic. I'm not, I'm not gonna go keep going and act like nothing changed. Um, <laughs> don't mind me, just a little magic. No, um, actually what happened was I messaged a bunch of the Facebook members and I wasn't expecting everybody to come back and say yes you can use because i make the facebook group private because i know that not everybody is confident enough to post their upcycles on an instagram page a facebook page and so my community is really so that you can share your upcycles with like-minded people and so when i message these people you know about 30 people maybe uh really the exact number that we have like 27 um I wasn't expecting everybody to say yes and so in all of the yes I'm so honored I'm so honored I'm blown away like okay I'm glad y'all rocking with me like this <laughs> but um I missed a couple and so I sent them a message to say you know I am so sorry but it made me feel so 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 bad um to not have them in here so um I can't quick change my hair like everybody thinks that we do once a black girl get braids in it's not coming down for a while so that's just it is what it is but um I wanted to come back and make sure that uh these two ladies I actually missed two that these two ladies so this set is going to have two ladies in it you're going to see their dinner them up cycles I want to make sure that I showed them some love but Kaylee Coburn she has an amazing denim up cycle um, where she's doing kind of like I did for the infringement jeans, but she's connecting hers with the little uh, rings. And I love that. I've seen people do it in different ways before and I absolutely love that. And she had actually messaged me and said that, you know, she was in the group, but she was just done with Facebook. And I told her, girl, I am done with Facebook too because I've actually deleted it from my phone just because for me, it was affecting my mental health and I just didn't I didn't need that didn't need that in my life so we are both kindred spirits in that so she I was telling her I said yeah I deleted it but I only go on on my computer so that I can partake in the blueprint DIY renegade up cycles and she was like yeah I think I'll do that and so she's back in the group and I'm just so happy to have her back in the group so yes yeah, you did an amazing job Kaylee amazing job and Angie Hitchcock. I wanted to share hers with you guys because she actually, do you guys remember when I did the button, the detachable sleeve jacket? She actually made that and I don't often, not all the time, get to see people actually do the tutorials that I show. So um, I just love that and I want to share it with you guys because hers is a different color and um, it's similar, but I just love the, you know, upcycles in one, will be de very different from the next one. So yes, I'm so excited about this. Angie, you did it, you did an amazing job. Um, even through, you know, we all have the things that we have to go through in order to make these things look good. She said it in her comment, but yes, you did an amazing job. And I absolutely love this jacket with the detachable sleeves. And I'm just like, shouldn't we just make everything like have detachable options, you know, just detachable, pants legs detachable cuffs detachable everything i don't know detachable collars whatever but yes i absolutely love this thank you guys uh kaylee and angie for not charging this to my heart charge like the old people say charge i shouldn't say old like older people say charge it to my head and not my heart but i definitely want to make sure i got these out there to show you guys some love um and just let you guys know that you guys are doing an amazing job in the upcycle group all right there's just two more names on the list let's see who's next it's rachel she takes now you guys know that i love sweaters i love sweaters anybody who knows me like in real life and from all the way from way back they know that i have 
I will wear a sweater in the summertime. I love sweaters that much. It probably stems from the fact that I used to be always cold all the time, but I really like sweaters. And she takes the sweaters and makes them something that you absolutely can wear in the summertime. And I love that. So you can see her different upcycles here. I love the fabric, the material, um, the print of the green one. That one's my favorite. And then she can take a sweater dress or a sweater and make a two piece out of it with a skirt to match. And they're all just super cute to me. So yes, I love this one. If she is your favorite, definitely let her know in the comments. All right, so I guess you guys know what this mean. Number one on our list is Dusty. She had to wait through 23 others, but yes, I wanted to share this one with you guys because she just made it out of a bed sheet. Yeah, just take a sheet and make something. <laughs> but I love to see when people make things out of bed sheets. It's not my personal strong suit, but I love to see when other people do it. And I love this frilly top with the ties and the peplum, which you know i have on my no so peplum today if you're interested in that tutorial definitely i'll link it in the description box and as well as on the eye right there but yes i really really like this she has the eyelet i used to hate eyelet but i think i've become more of a girly girl you know as i've grown up but yes i really really like this one dusty you did an amazing job all right and that brings us to my number one favorite upcycle from a subscriber and this one is actually not from someone who is in the group because she's too young to be in the group you have to be i think at least i don't know what the age is for in order to be part of a facebook group but there's an age you have to be and i know that there are some young upcyclers out there that need this inspiration and i love to see young people take the initiative in things even things that are outside of school yes school comes first but even those outside things in their extracurriculars and their um hobbies so this one is by someone i know personally she's a friend of my daughter's and her name is Lauren. She saw my video of the patchwork dress, the denim dress that I made, and she made her own, y'all. She took the initiative to follow the tutorial and to do her own, and I am so in love with this. This just, her mom sent it to me, and it completely, completely made my day. So I hope by showing her here, I am making her day. Lauren, keep sewing, keep upcycling, keep going in any and everything that you decide to do. You're going to be amazing. So you guys go show her some love and all the other upcyclers, go show them some love in the comments. Definitely let me know which ones were your favorites. Even if you don't remember their name, put the numbers of the ones that were your favorite in the comments and it'll just make their day. And we just want to help to encourage, especially during these times, help to encourage more and more people to upcycle it's great for the environment and it seems to be great for our mental health so many of you guys have agreed with me that this is just really keeping me centered focused <laughs> right now during this time so i hope that is doing the same for you so i definitely have some other videos for you guys to watch right here and subscribe because i post new videos every thursday and every saturday at 9 a.m lord willing they will be there so i will see you guys in the next one bye